what's going on, Zach here, and today we're going to take a look slash review of Bing Translator. Now, Bing Translator is a new translation program for Windows 8. It's also on Windows Phone 8, so if you have a Windows Phone 8, you may want to go ahead and check it out. Now, um, basically it works like this. I'm going to go ahead and show you the three screens that it has available. The first screen is uh, the translation screen. This particular screen will go ahead and allow you to go ahead and type, and when you type, it'll get the translation. The second screen is the language screen. This particular screen will allow you to go ahead and change any particular language that you want to get the translation that you want. So you have a choice between a lot of things such as Arabic, uh, Chinese, English, German, Greek, Hindu, Hebrew, even Klingon. That's right. That's right. Brush up on your Klingon if you need to. Now, you know, especially if you go into a Star Trek con convention. Granted, you're going to get sick, but nonetheless, you'll be able to speak Klingon, so it's okay. Great trade-off. Now, uh, for this particular demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, a translation between English and Japanese. Um, now, the last screen, of course, is the offline downloads. This particular screen will allow you to go ahead and download any particular translation that you want so you don't have to be online when doing this. Keep in mind that, uh, yes, if, you're not, if you don't have this downloaded, all the uh, translation will be done on the fly. So, which means that for this particular video, anything can happen. So, let's go ahead and do this first. Now, uh, first, let's go ahead and translate hello. Now, when you go ahead and translate it, um, at the top you have your actual original translation, your original you know, language. At the bottom you have your translated language. So you can click here, this little speaker here, and you'll get the language that you want. Hello. Or you can click here and get the language that you want. Now I believe the uh, translation for um, hello in Japan, Japanese rather, would be konnichiha. Let's see how it is. Konnichiha. Not bad, right? Not bad. How about the phrase stop it? Um... Let's see, um, Namite, I believe it is? Yamite. There you go. There you go. And even the word Japan, I believe it is Nihon. Nihon. There you go. There you go. My, my, you know, the word's a little off, but it still works out. So that's pretty much how you go ahead and translate it. Now, that being said, too, there's another way to go ahead and translate. Now, as you see right here, there's a little camera picture, a little camera icon right there. Now, the reason why that is is because of the fact that when it comes down to this in particular uh, program, it'll allow you to take a picture. I see it translating my face. Okay, fair enough. It'll go ahead and translate any particular text that you want to translate. You know, to the best of its ability. So now, I didn't have a lot of text around me that was able to go ahead and be translated by this particular program. However, I did go ahead and print up something very, um, very quick. So let's go ahead and see if it works. So once you got it works, just go ahead and click on it or touch the screen. And there you go. So now you have um, the original text and then you have the translated text. So let's just say, for instance, you went over there into Japan and you saw a text that was in Japanese. Well, you can have it translated into the US. Um, that feature is not currently available yet, but it will be very soon. So you click on save and you can actually go in and see right here. And then it actually gives you uh, the speaker so you can have it said to you as well. So. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. So when that's being done too, let's find out how good it really was. So we already know that konnichiha is the, um, the word for hello. We've already gone through that. Now, let's see how Welcome to My World translates. And it is the same thing. There you go. It is the same thing without the period. So, how about please enjoy your stay? Now, keep in mind, there's multiple ways to go ahead and say these particular words here. But, nonetheless, the translation from the picture um, to here is on point. So, you know, it looks like it did read it very correctly here. Now, of course, like I said before, you can go ahead and do any particular word that you want. Now, the last time I tried this, I had to do another video here because I wanted to go ahead and translate uh, some Chinese as well. Unfortunately, the Chinese didn't come out. Uh, it didn't actually translate. So, I wonder if it's going to translate now. Now, I'm going to say hello. And I believe the translation in Chinese for hello is, uh, well, Niho. Just like uh, Japanese is, um, you know, for Japan is Niho. So it is a different pronunciation, but I believe it's the same. So let's see if it'll actually come up. Ah, it did. Niho. There you go. So, yeah, it looks like it actually works out pretty well. So, if you do have Windows 8 and you're very interested in other languages, I think this will be a very good program for you, especially since it allows you to go ahead and, you know, 
type in whatever you want and then at the same time that you get to go ahead and get all the translations that you need to get anyway don't forget to rate comment subscribe you guys have a good night let me know what you guys think about the new program